So today is November 11th. It's a date which was originally set aside to commemorate the end of a war. November 11th, 11 a.m., November 11th, 1918, World War I, Armistice Day, called Remembrance Day in Canada. Here sometimes too. So this is a song I like to bring out at this time of year. I, I wrote it around the time of the 100th anniversary of the start of that war. Annie's eyes are on the ocean From her tower on the hill She's watching for a distant motion Past the endless swell and bellow Moonlight marks the water But Annie's watching still Farewell to Annie on the hill. Bid farewell to Annie on the hill. Toby's thoughts are on the ocean from his station by the door. He's watching. With a blind devotion Waits for footsteps on the floor But silence mocks the meeting Toby's waiting for Bid farewell to Toby By the door Bid farewell to Toby by the door. Dreamed of glory, joined the cause, boarded ship for distant land. Left my family, farm, and friends Said they'd understand But there's a field beyond the ocean Where a sea of poppies grow Sunlight brews a mystic potion Soothes the souls that rest below and nothing more is their beauty but markers row on row. Bid farewell to we who rest below. Bid farewell to we who rest below. Dreamed of glory, joined the cause, boarded ship for distant lands, left my family, farm, and friends, certain they'd understand. But moonlight marks the water. And Annie's watching still Bid farewell to Annie Annie on the hill If it weren't for the marina and the crane 
one of whose stabilizing legs with its hydraulic shaft dangling loose, twisted like a broken limb, and the cracked windshield half gone, but whose operator half empty rum bottle on the porch table, expert enough to know where to hang his chains across the spreader, spreader bar to lift 5,000 pounds of house onto the pontoon boat, but not before the hard work of the long drive to put the boat together. Then the wind and rain that first day, the calm motoring days, the small bays, the curious questions about the floating house from other boaters, build it yourselves, all solar, all electric, if not for those solar panels, the battery, the electric motor dancing on the deck the need for provisions, the folding bikes piled into the kayak and the country bike ride to fetch groceries, the delectable meals, eggs, solar side up, the waylay in Burlington, its restaurants, the bike path, meals and friends, following winds, thwarting winds, winds that threaten to wreck the boat. If it weren't for the knocking waves, the crashing waves that splashed up through the deck and added, and our added caution. And finally, one calm sunny day, our crossing the big open lake, the anchor set for safe harbor in a cove, smoothies on the back porch, our back 40 inches of decking, all this and the sun that freed us from roads, marinas, traffic, if not for a spoonful of the ice cold, the pure, the creamy, this would not be our Valcor, our victory. Thank you. I am so thrilled to be here at Wake Up and Smell the Poetry that I can only say, Hello, Hopkinton! <laughs> no, it's true. I am so impressed with what Cheryl Peralt has done with this venue that I am inspired to bring to you the very best poetry I can find. Is there anybody here that has a dog? Well, this is a poem about a dog and it's sure to put a smile on your face. It's a poem by Peter Wolveridge and it's entitled the Ballad of Rum. A dog, wandered, a dog wandered into our garden one day. A friendly old mutt, didn't look like a stray. We never discovered whence he had come, but we brushed him and fed him, and the kids called him Rum. Now as family members, even dogs must work hard. So he put Rum on duty next day in the yard. Bright-eyed and watchful by night and by day, but not much of a guard dog, I'm sorry to say. He barked at the cats, and he barked at a toad. He barked at the cattle outside on the road. He barked at the horses. So where did he fail? You see, Rum like people, and he just wagged his tail. He liked the yard labor, an amiable bunch. They fed our dog tidbits and scraps from their lunch. Rum wolfed it all down, but to our dismay, he seemed to get fatter with each passing day. Then one night, when Rum was laid at his ease, a burglar crept in, as quiet as you please. He saw no alarms, heard no sirens howling, no dog, no guard dog for sure, they'd be barking or howling. But Rum was awake and had seen him all right, delighted with company this time of the night. He flew through the yard, his new friend to greet, and his weight bowled a burglar right off of his feet. The intruder got up and ran off with a wail, and rum right behind him, still wagging his tail. 
He departed the yard, he'd come in to burgle, like a champion athlete clearing a hurdle. But Rum couldn't jump gates, so sadly instead, he picked up the thief's wallet and went back to bed. <laughs> Next morning, the, evi the evidence everyone viewed, when Rum brought it to us, just a little bit chewed. Once given the wallet, the police didn't fail to capture the burgle and put him in jail. His confession, like wildfire, spread through the town how a big, vicious ground dog, guard dog had knocked the thief down. We all howled with laughter when we heard the story, and Ram was our hero. He was basking in glory. There's been no attempts since to burgle our yard, for everyone knows now that Rum was on God. Thank you very much. <laughs> Woo out and hold my hand No, there's those who'd not approve You're running off with me Footloose rambler reaching after Dreams that he can see A year is all I'm asking Take the road I choose There's nothing for us staying here Nothing left to lose Through the long and dreary nights Keep me from the cold Together as the years go by Gracefully grow old Lady, oh lady, lady, would you come? Lady, my lady, lady, my lady. Mai, you say, oh, much white light to you all. Thanks so much. My poem today is called 
perfectly round ripples. I tossed a golf ball into the pond where it made perfectly round ripples that traveled all the way to the farther shores. And I tossed a jagged stone into the pond and it too made perfectly round ripples that traveled all the way to the farther shores. Next I found an old sneaker with laces missing, tossed it into the pond which brought on a thumping splash, causing geese and turtles to turn their heads, but soon lose interest as it made perfectly round ripples that traveled all the way to the farther shores. Now should the deeds we perpetrate here on earth, good or evil, planned or accidental, make perfectly round ripples that travel all the way to the farther shores of the cosmic sea, so mote it be. We shall for sure receive our due somewhere in the unflinching residuum. Thank you. The young hero came home after doing the bidding, told he had to go or go to prison. Some fearful for themselves, went into hiding, then returned with a full presidential pardon. Tortured in dreams by what he had done, this nation's unhero has not yet fully returned. Scorned for any claims he tries to make, the unhero is told it's his own mistake. My final comment to the unhero of today can only be that will eventually have our day. Thank you. This is um, at the cardiac clinic. Just ahead of me on the left, my mother wearing a white blouse shakes a little when she walks, the stronger one at 87. Next to her, my father, with round shoulders folded over like a wounded bird, steadies himself with a webbed cane, feeling his way slowly forward. So they go, arm in arm, side by side, toward the clinic door, like a butterfly with one broken wing limping to the gates of heaven, all my love going with them. One should always be drunk. That's all that matters. So as not to feel time's terrible burden that breaks your shoulders and bows you down. You must get drunk without rest. But what with? With wine? With poetry? Or with virtue, as you choose? but get drunk. And if at some time on the steps of a palace or in the green grass of a ditch or in the solitude of your room, you are, awa you are awakened and drunkenness is already in, um, abated, ask the wind, the wave, the star, the bird, the clock, all of which groans, all of which, uh, all of which rolls, all of which sings, all that which speaks. Ask them what time it is, and the wind, the wave, the bird, the clock, the stars will reply, it is time to get drunk. So that you may not be the martyred slave of time, get drunk, get drunk and never pause for rest, with wine, with poetry, or with virtue as you choose. Words of Charles Baudelaire. So, um, a couple of years ago, I, I went to a writing thing, and the writing prompt was, how do I want to be loved? And I wrote this back then and forgot all about it and found it, and I thought I would share it today because recently, um, a theme that's developing in my writing and in my life is all about love and the different forms of love. So. 
That writing prompt gave me the opportunity to think about how much love I have in my life. And I truly feel that I am surrounded by love from family and friends and just that I've been very lucky that way. But also it made me think of how easy it is for me to love people who love me. It's not quite as easy to love people who maybe don't love me or don't show that they love me. And so for me, the question of how do I want to love became how do I give more love? How do I give love to those in my life who are hard to love, who are not pleasant to be with, who have hurt me in some way, or who I feel strong disagreement with? And the answer comes as metaphor. I want to give more love in the way that the rain nourishes the parched earth. I want to give more love in the way that the stars and the moon light a dark night. I want to give more love in the way the sun brings warmth to a cold and barren landscape. I want to give more love in the way the universe provides wonder to comfort and inspire humans after we, in our humanness, forget how wondrous life on this planet can be. Thank you. <laughs> Never been to Mexico, never rode a rodeo across the desert south to Timbuktu. Never found that pot of gold, never thought that I'd get old. There is much that I will never do. And now I am an old man And I'm sitting in my chair Thinking about where I might have been I'm too soon old And too late smart dark I never sailed the Amazon never ran a marathon never found someone whose love was true never did what I was told I was on that glory road where one day I met my Waterloo. Yes, and now I am an old man still sitting in my chair thinking about where I might have been. I'm too soon old My youth it was misspent all my sins I now repent and hope it's not too late to make my mark for as long as I am here might as well get off my chair and find the light before it gets too dark did these wheels travel across pastures, the time-worn bones of a machine that harvested hay? I can hear the roar of the engine and see the farmer bouncing along on that metal seat 
open to the sky, all the while keeping note of the sun's position overhead to be sure he gets home in time for dinner. He wore a logo cap from John Deere, or burpee seed perhaps, and sweated out a gallon in the summer heat, fending off the flies, before abandoning his labor as dusk set in. He taught his young son to drive on this machine before the boy's foot could reach the pedal. Sitting on his father's lap, he'd proudly steer and dream of being a farmer one day like his dad. And after he leaves the tra tractor mid-row, he walks home, tired, dirty, hungry, but satisfied to work the land and share his hope for the next generation, imagining no better life than the one they are in. Thank you. I have saved small bits of time, like pennies, so I can spend them here, where I am held by the tangled wild beauty strewn all around. Leaning on a fallen trunk propped in the crook of another, I watch an oak leaf drift downriver. A wood thrush whistles. The wind flutters the tree's crisp <coughs> leaves and brushes my face. This patch of woods is not sculpted or grand or glorious. It's like the beauty of your mother, of her familiar hands. You don't care how fancy her hair is or how many creases spread around her kind eyes. She just needs to be there with you. And so I return to this place that longs to fill my open palms with yellow leaves and piles of burnished acorns. Thank you. Lavender, jasmine, rosemary,